hello and welcome to my channel yemi show if you are new here a pleasant welcome to you so this is an update video on my pond so um in this video you're actually going to be seeing my natural pond and incidentally i'm going to be working also on my new pond so if you watch my videos before just right behind me i stopped this um natural um pond you know formed by the rain with um some fishes and um this update is um you know to tell you what has happened to the fishes um the result wasn't great in fact the result was so so bad so i would just advise you know anyone that wants to you know um do what i did i mean if judging from mine i would advise you not to you know to go ahead um with that i actually do not know what happened i stocked the fishes with about um or i stocked the pond with about 30 fishes and at the end of the day i was only able to get two out i actually do not know what happened to them i have no I, if I, I can't tell maybe they were stolen if you can see So maybe they were stolen i don't know i mean we have some water here today just because um it just rained i'm sure you can still see you know some um drizzles so it was actually practically dried but i emptied um my bigger pond water because i put the two fishes that um i got from this pond in there i'll be showing you but actually even right now we are taking that out because i'm going to be stocking the new pond with um fingerlings so like i said i actually got nothing out of this it was so disheartening i am guessing that um i had um is it that some people came in here and um took them out I actually had an incident where I was coming in and um, two men, you know, came into my compound and while I asked them what they were doing, one of them said um, he saw fishes, you know, in the pond and he was going to get a cutlass. So just imagine your guess is as good as mine. You know, even though I reported those ones, only God knows what happened, you know, because for me to only get two fishes and I can't even find, you know, whether the bones or anything in case something else ate them up i really don't know what um happened as you can see i do not have any fence my compound is um opened you know in the front you can see so that is just the road i live in a pretty um safe estate but um i don't know <laughs> i don't know i mean it's like i wasn't expecting this anyway so i'll be taking you to my new pond right now where i have um mr emeka is helping me to clean out the pond he actually you know brought in the new um fingerlings today so we're going to the pond right now I think I have just one of the fishes here. Mr. Maker said it's still alive. And um, this one, okay, this one actually died and um, really, really sad. So only I can only say I had once, you know, survived. Mr. Maker, say hello. Hello. So this uh, is Mr. Maker of what? What's the name of your farm, Mr. Maker? Gaston Farms. Gaston Farms. Okay. I met Mr. Maker a few weeks ago where I went to buy some fish food. He was so, you know, helpful. And one thing led to another. I actually found out that he, you know, breeds his own, what do we call them now? I mean, what do you, you're the one that, I mean, it's like, you breed, you can breed your own fishes, of course, but those fingerlings, you, you what do you call, what do you call that? Well, the process, that. what's the process called? The process of, um getting the fingerlings from the main fishes what do you call that 
Okay, uh, getting the eggs and everything, fertilizing. What do you call that process? Okay, hashing. Okay, so he hashes his own, you know, fingerlings. So. Lava, fries. You have um, good fingerlings, you have fingerlings, you have good fingerlings, you have juvenile, and all that. Jumbo, melon, the table size. So, Mr. Emeka is your to go man if you want to do. You know this process. I mean, I just met him. Wonderful, 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 wonderful guy. Thanks a lot, Mr. Emeka. I went to his farm that day. I was really, really impressed. But don't mind me. I wasn't. I did, in fact, I, I think I mentioned. Did I mention it in one of my videos that um, his farm was really an urban jungle? You know, I would not believe that. You know, such a thing still existed in the Lekki, a Lekki axis. Really, really nice. I was. I was really, really impressed. So he's helping us clean out the pond. So that's my new pond. I actually had um, the two fishes in there, you know, before. I hope that th that thing is actually, like I said, my our water that those that color, the water is bad. So you can see. The water is bad. It leaves um, iron deposits. Ah, so our water is so bad. So my finger are somewhere in this um, container. You can't see them. I guess when we, you know, we pour them somewhere there. When we pour them out, you'll be able to see them so we're just cleaning out the pond like I said I actually missed this part Mr. Maker has actually um, put in the fingerlings in the pond I missed it but any day I'm sure you can see closer so those are the fingerlings he said we have about 500 plus fingerlings here. So this will be their new home. My prayer is that no one will come and steal my fishes. Though. Do you have to cover them? You can use nets. Press a bed. Okay. I can we use this net? Can this net even cover them? Let's see if we can try. Let's try it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, um, I have fishes in this um, water. This is actually two days after I introduced them into this pond. The water isn't so clear because um, the water right from our bowl who has a lot of iron particles. But I, as you can see, as I'm talking, there's quite a lot of movement in the pond so um, I actually want to drain this pond this morning because um, I've been advised to um, drain it um, at least you know I'm advised to drain it every two days so I'm going to be draining this pond and I'll be introducing fresh water in the pond and um, also feeding them so I'll be going ahead to drain the pond now so I have um, an outlet that has been so I'm draining the pond to ensure that um, the water is clean and um, the fishes are in a more healthy you know environment Quite a lot of um, activity in the pond right now. The fishes are quite small. So I can actually see some evidence of um, cannibalism in the water. Um, these fishes, they tend to 
eat themselves if um, they are not um, fed um, properly so I actually have to watch out for this I fed them yesterday morning I I'm not yet um, sure of the quantity of um, feed to be given so I would surely up that um, this morning while feeding them I guess you can't see it but um, in this pond I can see you know I can see like um, at least I can see like two uh, maybe evidence of cannibalism I don't know if it's the same one but since I'm seeing them in two different um, parts of the pond I think I'll be saying there is um, two you know right now so I'm deciding to do something which is against best practices right now um, just because I see the draining of the pond is taking a long while than expect a longer time than expected I'm going to be feeding them because I didn't feed them last night so I know they are quite hungry so so right now I'm putting the water back into the pond I couldn't um, actually wait to drain out all the water because I have a lot to do today um, but I guess um, that will be okay for now the water wasn't really um, dirty so I might actually um, at least at this stage I might decide to leave the water for three days and see you know how the water is um, before I drain it you know so anyway so that's all for now so basically this video was just to give you an update on my natural pond so I actually said that project was not a success at all but um, right now I have uh, my fish tank which um, I am you know starting with about 500 um, fishes so I'll be keeping you updated on how this is going so if you love this content do not forget to give this video a thumbs up um, you can also subscribe to this um, channel and um, when you subscribe you can press the notification button that will let you know when next I'll be uploading a new video thanks for watching bye